Hello everyone, Daisy here with another video. This one is for the Scrap Madness Video A Day series that Laura Alberts and Miranda Weber are doing um, for the month of March. And I also am using the Paper Issues Sketch for March and my um, Shop It or Stash It kit. So I decided to do, instead of the um, hexagons that are in the sketch, I decided to use these cut apart cards. And unfortunately my camera just shut off. I'm not sure what is going on with it, but it keeps doing that. So I'm using this background paper, which is from Savannah Dreams, um, or Pretty Little Studio Savannah Dreams. And then I'm using the crepe paper cut apart um, from the the new birthday collection they just came out with and also the chipboard from that collection and so I cut out some cards that I don't know I really liked them and I liked the color of them I decided to make a layout for my son's 16th birthday um, <clears throat> usually I don't scrap birthdays all as much as I have been but you know 16 is a big one so I decided it deserved more than one layout so I chose some of the chipboard pieces that I liked, that little tag, a present, that alligator, because I figured when else am I going to add an alligator. And then I am also going to pull in a couple of the die cuts from the Pretty Little Studio collection. And I'm just trying to spread out the color. So I don't want too much of like yellow in one area or blue in one area. And I'm just trying to spread it around the layout a little bit. And I'm just following the sketch by keeping my design focused down in kind of the bottom left corner there. Um, and I am only going to use one picture instead of two and my title is going on the opposite side of my pictures but I feel like you can see the sketch in this. <clears throat> and really it's all about inspiration, right? So I'm just playing around with these chipboard pieces, trying to get the, like I said, the color spread around and make sure that they're all represented in here. And I'm going to pull in this little hot air balloon because it was the right color. <clears throat> and I felt like I needed another little element up there in that corner. And I'm bringing in a couple of the word stickers or phrase stickers and then also some little flowers. And again, that's to help bring in color to the areas that I felt like it needed more. <clears throat> I was thinking about using some of these little um, tiny word stickers, but I don't think I actually get any on there. And then this picture is just of my son first thing in the morning. Um, on his birthday, we were on our way to Florida, so it was at a hotel. It wasn't anything special, just him first thing when he's 16 so then I am going to work on my title and it's going to be a combination of the chipboard sticker um, some thickers and these thickers are amazing I love them they're called Twilight and I believe I got them at Walmart <clears throat> and then I'm also going to use my stamps that are part of my shop it or stash it kit they are a typewriter font which I am absolutely in love with and they are from Ms. Sparkle & Co. I think that it might be the Target, oh no, Joanne, sorry, Joanne, <clears throat> like generic brand. So I'm just going to uh, use these stamps to put his name down and then I'm going to pull off a couple of the little arrows from the um, thickers. And that is pretty pretty much going to finish up my layout. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Please head on over, check out Miranda and Laura's channels. Um, what they created for today is amazing, so you don't want to miss out on that. And I believe um, Caitlin or Gray Florals is also participating today. So head on over. Um, there will be links down in the description box below, and I will see you again soon with another layout. Thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.